This is the real Tom Rose, and this problem is basically about anagrams. They've told us that we have a four digit number, and the digits of that number are one, two, three, and four. But they could be in any order. So the one and the four could switch, the three and the one could switch, the two and the four could, any number of orderings of these digits would be considered acceptable. So if we made a list, so for example, two, one, three, four would also count and we made a list all the way down of the num possible numbers, that would be the, and we counted it, so this would be one, two, et cetera, that would be the answer. Now, with four digits, there's really too many for us to write them all out. So what I'm gonna do instead is use a method called the slot method to figure out how many possible combinations there are. And the slot method works the following way. Say we're building a four digit number what I ask myself is, um, how many decisions do I need to make to pick this number? And the answer is there are four decisions, one for each slot. Now let's say we have a pool, one, two, three, four. That's our pool of numbers and there's four elements in it. When I make my first choice, which would be the choice for the first number in the slot, how many options do I have? I have four options, each of the four numbers. Now, when I make my second choice for the second digit, how many choices will I have then? Well, I don't know which number I've chosen, but I do know that one of them is missing. So I'll only have three options left. And then when I make my choice for the third digit, two of them have now been chosen. So hypothetically, say those two are gone. Now I have two options left. And when I pick my last digit, there's really no choice. I have whatever's left, that's what I'm picking. And if you're using the slot method, the way that you get the answer is, once you know the number of choices at every decision, you simply multiply them together to get your answer, 24.